Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Mysterious Monsters. In this week's episode, we take a look at the Ebu Gogo. Now, deep in the forests of the island of Flores, Indonesia, local legend describes a human-like creature, but smaller in stature and one with a ferocious appetite that would kidnap children and eat human babies. So, right off the bat already, I <laughs> think. That's that's pretty that's pretty um, out there, pretty quickly. Um, so it, yeah, it pretty much describes as a small like human, um, a little bit chubbier than a normal person as well. Um, now known as the Ebu Gogo, Ebu means grandmother and Gogo means she or he who eats anything. The local people called the Nej. Um, have passed down monstrous tales of the mythical beast of four centuries. Now, the Ebu Gogo were said to be nasty, gluttonous beasties, <coughs> described as fast runners with wide flat noses, broad faces, large mouths, and hairy bodies. They were described, no, they were said to be uh, mumble in a distinct language of their own and were able to mimic human words similar to parrots. Because these creatures kid would kidnap children and steal food from villages, legend says they are they were driven deep into the rainforests and many killed by their human neighbours. Uh, now they say they began to disappear with the arrival of co Portuguese and Dutch settlers starting in the 17th century. Now, obviously, fast forward into September 6, 2003, Indonesian and Australian excavation teams were in the Liang Bue for, uh, Flores. Now, they uncovered the fossil of an unidentified human creature. Uh, they'd never seen anything like it before. Now, on initial examination, the team suspected it could, uh, it could be a young child given uh, the smaller stature. However, uh, the permanent teeth indicated otherwise. This creature was definitely an adult at the time of death, a female roughly about 30 years old. Now the fossil remains indicate that they were only about 3 feet 6 inches in height. They had small brains about you know, 400 cubic centimeters uh, with no chin, a uh, receding forehead and a uh, profoundly large feet because of their short legs. Uh, now the Flores excavation team dubbed the creature as a like a like a hairy hobbit uh, given the physical attributes of the creature. Now the following year the team published their own findings in the journal uh, Nature on October 28, 2004. Formally recognised the species as Homo florsin florsinians uh, this skeleton is the most complete fossil specimen ever unearthed of the species. Uh, I believe there is a video out there that you can actually watch as they show you the, the you know, the, the Ebu Gogo skeletal system. Now, early humans arrived in Flores about 800,000 800, years ago, based on the stone uh, tool findings. Now, these uh, Ebu Gogos and humans certainly shared this small island. Now, the Ebu Gogo were also believed to use stone tools. They hunted the extinct elephant species, uh, Stegodon. Stegodon? Yeah, Stegodon. Uh, along with large rodents and could have possibly used fire. Uh, some researchers believe that they're given the physical attributes, the oral histories of the Ebu Gogo could be cultural memories of the ancient human ancestor. However, there is no scientific evidence to support those claims. So, from that, people have found, obviously, uh, evidence of the Ebu Gogo being actually real. Um, obviously, it's described as having no chain, receding hairline, uh, very hairy body, very large feet, and a very, very nasty appetite for food, and obviously human babies, which is a little bit radical, but... That's that's what it's saying. Now, the Abu Gogo is probably one of the more primate-ish sort of monsters out there. 
and with the speed they run at, it's supposedly quite a ridiculous pace. Um, so if you're ever in a forest or in a jungle and you see a little hairy human that's running at you with a d ridiculous pace and you've got a kid with you, I'd run like hell. Um, it's not one of the most scariest ones, but one of the most interesting ones as well. Obviously, scientists have tried to link it between us and them, uh, possibly be in the middle of obviously an ape to us. So, with evolution, possibly it is possibly, or they could just be a different. Um, species altogether from an ape to that and then stuck at that so maybe it's just a really old primate that obviously hasn't been discovered until obviously 2003 which is quite it's quite interesting that so it's very very interesting that one that had a lot of big words in it by the way so yeah really tried with that so anyway thank you very much for watching this episode everyone i do appreciate it and stay tuned as i will be posting up scary stories uh, from now on as well so thanks for watching everyone and stay tuned for more.